your very first time having a go at regularity rallying? So what, what did you, attracted you to have a go? We've both got sort of uh, classic cars. Mine's not running at the moment, Roger's is, and we just thought it'd be nice to use them. I think the other thing is it'd be nice to meet other people who've got a similar interest. My wife and I have raced off-road cars in the past, and we tried one form of rallying in an old Fiat that we have, so we thought we'd like to give this a try and see if it's something we like. Welcome to the 2022 uh, Novus Trial. Um, started with 15 people, and we have 65 entries this year, so thank you very much, and have a great couple of days. How was the course, or the first part of the course? It was very good, very informative. Uh, helped answer a lot of the questions on the uh, uh, route maps and the tulips. It was a big help. It is really good, really interesting. Whether I've caught everything, I don't think so. But it just concreted everything. But I'm sure we'll have forgotten everything by the morning. So I've put it down, you've got 30 seconds. You've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And you drive off. What an amazing opportunity. It's the first time that I've done something like this and it's just made me very, very excited. I don't really know how I'm going to be at the navigation, but um, I'll try my best. Who's driving? Who's navigating? I'm driving. Yep. It's all on me. Navigating. Big, big job down to yep. you. Know. <laughs> I'm a little bit pleased that I've got the, um, the keys and, the, and driving it rather than the navigating, so I think uh, I've leapt out on that one. I don't know what I've let myself in for. <laughs> so we started the training on Friday evening then they came back this morning and uh, we did a scrutineering and the measured distance. But we were all on hand to help with it all so we could guide them if anyone was a bit confused or what was happening. We have done some tours before but this is definitely uh, the first time doing a rally. We've only had this since March. It's in a barn for 50 years so it's been taken apart and put back wow. together again. Well both of us are car enthusiasts so it's a passion for both of us and we thought this would be a great way to to actually use the cars. Longer term aspirational goal is uh, peaking to Paris one day. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think the, the, this old Aston is going to do that. But um, yeah, some, some, something else a bit more suitable in the future. I like the idea of driving a pre-war car and without having some kind of training. I didn't feel qualified to be able to do that. I'm navigating, I'm his father-in-law. Oh, so, uh, father-in-law. We'd better stay friends. <laughs> 45 years ago I used to be on that side, somebody else had to do the hard work. It's a logical swap isn't it? I'm 22, Ben's 23. We want to kind of just show that it's a thing accessible that you can and do. something that we can do as young guys. All the cars are cooler, they're more visceral, they, you enjoy them more. And you learn so much more about driving as well, the actual Yeah, the mechanics of driving. Of driving. After yesterday's session, I feel like I've been revising all night, but the main thing is to not argue as they've advised us in the tent. Get round in a respectable time without having an argument would be a win, and have Emma wanting to do an event again afterwards, I'd take that. Oh, I'm feeling the pressure on the navigator, yeah. Actually, I think the geek in me is really <laughs> starting to come out as I'm reading through all of the different tulips. We've looked at the paperwork and it all seems straightforward on the page, but I suspect it will be a disaster on the day, so we'll, uh, I think it will be a learning experience. We were already talking about doing the uh, London to Lisbon and love to do the Peking to Paris. I was lucky enough to do the Peking to Paris as well in a different cab. Now we're roll reversal. <laughs> I've got to get the navigation in the bag, uh, particularly the timed sections, regularities and all that sort of thing. So that's why we're here. They all came back in for another classroom session, this time on the tricks of the trade, where we tell them all the different things that we think organisers use to try and catch them out. Then they went out on the road and tried it. And this was just navigation. That's all they were trying to do, trying to find the right way. It's gone pretty well. There's been a couple of things that we've not gone right on, but then we've realised those mistakes ourselves and corrected it and managed to get ourselves back on the right road or like go in the right direction. And we've, that's what we're happier with, that we've managed to fix it ourselves. What's the most difficult part so far? Definitely the timings, getting all the numbers. I have not done this much mental maths since I was in secondary school. So yeah, <laughs> getting used to that is quite a challenge. Maths isn't quite my strong point, so I struggle <laughs> a bit with the timing, Lark. Okay. The navigating was easier than I thought it was going to be, but the timing was really hard. <laughs> Getting familiar over the course of yesterday evening and today with the materials, the tulip maps we'd never seen before, the concept of driving to a speed as opposed to driving as fast as you can, all of these things are, are quite new and quite interesting. I kind of thought that I knew enough about what I would expect today and it's actually completely different to what I would have expected. And yeah, it's actually really like fun and engaging when you get into it. So. <laughs> 
I mean, it's, it's great being with other people who are also learning um, and we're all just in it together to try and improve and get to the point where we have the confidence to do more and more. Go! Going left and going round here. They came back in, we did a walking test on the on the terrace here which went down really, really well. Then we went out and tried a walking regularity. You try the timing element of a regularity but at a much slower pace because you're walking. And then they went out on the road and, and had another little practice out there. I mean, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed before we started this, but now I feel I've got a chance of, of getting us around in one piece and vaguely in the right direction. Tomorrow morning we've got the Novice Trial Rally. This is a mini rally in exactly the same format as they would find on any of our blue and green events, but just in the morning. It was great yesterday having some time to go through all the timings, all you know, very new to us at the moment. But yes, looking forward to it, very excited. First time we've done anything like this. It's not something you just go and do every day. Like this is the first time we've done anything motorsport related and we've probably waited our whole lives to do that. So enjoy it and hope we can get, I'd say top quarter is where I want to put myself. So what attracted you to actually taking part in this event? And I looked on YouTube and the first video that came up was um, the White Sisters in a TR4 and I thought, oh, this looks fun. And uh, so the more I looked into it, the, uh, the more interested we came and I eventually bought the car and, and signed up and here we are. Some people have just seen our videos online, um, Hero ERA YouTube videos and gone, I want to try that. Some people have been recommended by friends. Some people have actually come on one event before and not really understood all of the different aspects. They thought, we'll come and train and then we'll hopefully understand and we can do more. Um, it's a real mixed bag. <coughs> So we've been extremely lucky in that our last novice trial participants, one crew went on to win the Hero Challenge Championship, one crew went on to win London Lisbon a few weeks ago, which is fantastic. Someone said to me earlier, does that not put all the participants this weekend under a lot of pressure? And I said, well, no, not really. It puts us as trainers under a lot of pressure because we need to train you to be good enough to do that. Hopefully that's what we've done. And hopefully we're gonna go on to see even more winners over the next year that have attended our novice trial. About the tests this morning? That was the thing I was most nervous about because um, I've never driven a test before but actually I really really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tyre squealing this morning in the uh, test gentlemen. Trying to get ahead of the game that's <laughs> all. Uh, we were in a 911 and there are some MGBs and stuff so we thought we'd uh, play our advantage where we have it. How are the lessons translating into the actual event so far? Perfectly. The lessons are essential, the navigation is essential, the timing. Um, I think the curriculum yesterday was, was great, really well done. How's it gone on the regularity? All in all, quite well, um, until this last one took a wrong turning, dropped quite a bit back and then didn't have enough time before the next checkpoint to catch it up. So I think all in all we've done quite well. I think we've actually done really well so far. It doesn't seem like we've made a wrong turn anywhere. We seem to be at the right place, near enough at the right time. And there was one point where another car went in the other direction and we started second guessing ourselves, but we checked. We were right and we carried on and we got to where we should have been. So yeah, we were really happy with that. First time in my life I navigate and since I'm French, I'm on the wrong side of the car. But apart from that, it's been fine, very fine. Just maybe half a dozen mistakes, that's it. Absolutely thrilled, absolutely loved it, brilliant. brilliant. John said, you'll get the bug, you'll want to do it again. I said, no, I won't. Uh, I think I do, Tash wants to, me to do one with her. It's surpassed all expectations. It's just been the most incredible weekend in the sunshine. It's been exhilarating, it's been competitive. Um, yeah, it's been teamwork. We had a good go at it anyway. Some things worked, some things didn't. So lots of marking off colour coding in the book. Um, a little bit of timing, so yeah, it was good fun. First attempt, good fun. We had a cracking event. We, we really enjoyed it. it was well organised and we learned a lot. <laughs> I think it's gone absolutely brilliant, Tony. I mean, we had 
47 crews who, who turned up. I think there was about 75% who've never ever done anything before. And then to see the, uh, I think, elation and relief on the faces of the competitors that come over the line was great. And nobody said that was too hard. They enjoyed it. They made mistakes, but well, that's what it's all about. It's a learning curve. Catching a bit. In terms of the regularities, you were top of the sheets because you two lost the least amount of time. Do we actually? Do we really? Yeah. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wow. didn't know that. That's amazing. Okay, great. So oh, I feel better now. So the only thing that let us down was the test? Yeah. Because we missed a cut. <laughs> One cut. One cut. It's so great to see so many happy, smiling faces. To come to the end of the, the event and they understand more, they've, they've finished, they've succeeded on the route. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. Genuinely, we've learned so much. I think we've just drunk in all the information that the people here have just been incredible with feeding us knowledge and the competitive spirit kicked in um, yesterday and today. Yeah, 100%. And, and luck was definitely on our side. But yeah, here we are. It's been an incredible experience. You're only as competitive as your navigator, so I'm just like shifting it onto here, but obviously absolutely buzzing to uh, to have won. Um, but no, it's absolutely loved finding finding this new sport, and uh, yeah, hope hope that we can do lots more events. I think we we certainly are absolutely hooked. You know, it'd be nice to win, but it's more important to enjoy it. And the fact we did so much better than yesterday. Yesterday was just a lot. And, uh, and yeah, we, we really enjoyed it. And to come second in the test, that was your yeah. speedy drive in there. In a, a 1.6 MX-5, I'll happily come second to a V8 MG. <laughs> That's fine. Second <laughs> overall, how yeah. about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quite a surprise, but obviously really, really pleased, yeah. Uh, we can't really believe it. Um, but the important thing is that we beat my brother when he did this last year. <laughs> there's people already talking about entering summer trial, here are challenges and you know there's even somebody suggesting that I want to get to a point where I can do Le Jog. There is a natural progression for people to take. After Le Jog last year and David said to me at John O'Groats, um, well how was your rally and I said brilliant, how was yours? He said I hated it. He said <laughs> I didn't see anything of the country, are we actually in John O'Groats? So I said, um, said well why don't we swap seats and I'll, I'll get your experience and you can have mine. And not a little amusing to hear my navigator shouting and swearing and <laughs> saying all the things I normally say back at me. It was fantastic. So yeah, absolutely loved it. People are definitely looking to come back for more and it's really, really exciting to, to hear that they want to come and do another event and that they've got the bug that this sport that we all love so much. <laughs> but certainly I think it's going to become a family tradition, that's for sure. <laughs> I reckon she'd be quite good to do one with. I think it'd be nice, but we might fall out. Better than John? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the arrive and drive TR3 has done you proud, hasn't it? It certainly has. An absolute, been an absolute beauty. No, and absolutely love, love driving that. And um, no, it was clearly, clearly one of those things. It was meant to be. Wow. <laughs>